Buen día a todos, bienvenidos. Today, I'm gonna attempt to make homemade ice cream. <laughs> I do have a machine for it, so hopefully it should turn out good, but it's gonna be like maybe slightly complicated because I have to do the egg thing where you can't put the raw egg into the hot liquid when the hot liquid is too hot because then it will cook the egg and you'll have chunks of egg in your ice cream. If you're at all familiar with making ice cream, then you'd know that, but you will see the process. <laughs> This is super heavy, so let's just put it down right here. I have made ice cream in the past. Like when I was in high school, I think we had a machine that you put ice around the outside and salt and it has turned out semi-decent. Y hace poco, I did make ice cream with this new machine that I have. It was just regular vanilla ice cream. It was nothing fancy, no egg thing <laughs> to deal with. But I didn't know you have to actually let the stuff cool in the fridge for many hours before you put it in the machine so it didn't turn out super creamy and airy like regular store ice cream. So I'm gonna try to <laughs> make it better this time. So first, ingredients of course. Cream or crema, cocoa powder or polvo de cacao, chocolate, Leche, milk, white sugar, azúcar, salt, sal, eggs, huevitos. Let's hope they don't fall on me. Vanilla, vainilla. You want to help with the eggs? Yes. Uh, but you come here. Gotta get a bowl. That's bowl. Wait, by the way, the recipe I'm using is on joyfoodsunshine.com and it's called Best Homemade Chocolate Ice Cream Recipe. I like this. You would like some sugar? Yeah. Wait, you need to wash your hands first. ¿Te gusta cocinar, Valentina? Yes. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? No. Or in Nicaragua they say esquimo. Esquimo. Yes. Where do you wash your hands? Mm, yes. Okay, let's go. You all clean? Yes. Para herramientas necesitamos ice cream maker, of course. La máquina para pegado, esquimo. <laughs> and actually, we have, I already put this in the freezer, this bowl. This is where we're gonna freeze the ice cream. It has to have been in the freezer for, I think, 12 hours to actually get the bowl really cold so that it can make the liquid into creamy ice cream. A container or contenedor where we can put the ice cream when it's done. A glass batter bowl. I don't know if this is to call this in Spanish. A pot to cook on the stove. Wait, mommy. A whisk. Can you say whisk? Whisk. No sé cómo se llama. Fine mesh strainer. No sé cómo se llama. Measuring spoons. Cucharas para medir. Tomás thinks I'm funny because I rarely use these. <laughs> so we'll see if I end up using them this time. Bye. Measuring cup. Un vaso para medir. This is a shiny tray. And a spatula. Eh, no sé cómo se llama. Oh Welcome to your dollhouse. Yes. Yeah. It was mixed. In the pot, we're going to put one quarter cup of cocoa powder. Put it in the pot. We need one cup of heavy cream, okay? Okay. Open it. One cup. Cup, yes, Here. How do you like her post? Looks a little precarious. High for a little bit, bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, we're gonna turn down the heat to simmer for 30 seconds. And don't stop stirring it. 
I'm gonna turn that off, take it off the heat, and it will be six ounces of chocolate. This is 10 ounces, so about half the bag. Mommy! What, honey? Mommy! It's very hot. It's very, very hot. All mixed in. One more cup of cream. Cream. Okay, be careful. Okay. Now we're gonna mix it. Yep. Chocolate is sweet. Then it's chocolate eggs. All that. Yummy. Yum. It's alpine. Yum. Oh, that me yeah. Mama. Put this to the side for now. We need one more small bowl to get egg yolks in to whisk them together. So this is sound different. It's this sound. Good job. This is okay. Ready? Oh, yes. We need to get just the yolks, okay? Yolks. I'm gonna get another bowl for the whites. Wait. I the Oh no. <laughs> Oh, can I build? Cooking with a child. Oh, it's the tiny bowl. I'll tell this eggs. What? Is it a slit? This is eggs. Eggs. For the yellow part. How much? Do you want to go wash it first? Okay. I'll wash it. Bloop. Successful. Do you want me to mix it? Yeah, you mix. Bye! Bye! One. Mm -hmm. And a half. Half. Thank you. You're welcome. Must. Three quarter cups of sugar. Need a little pinch. Salt. A little pinch. Press open it. Medium heat. Another tool that I need. So it says that when this mixture is a little bit warm, we can mix a half a cup of this with the egg yolks and then put this back into the pot and the egg should not cook, right? Vamos a ver si podemos. I don't know how you're supposed to know like when it's slightly warm. We're gonna see if this works. I'm a little scared. Half a cup in the eggs. Okay. So here it says continue to cook over medium heat, stir constantly until it thickens and slightly coats the spatula. Esto pasa a los 170 grados. Oh gosh, I have some chunk of egg in here. I didn't do it quite right, I guess. Okay, bye. But I think the good thing is we strain it after. I see Kate is bit okay. It's all good. <laughs> Hope. Whenever I do. Aquí estoy, mi amor. Whenever I do stuff like this, like make stuff at home, and it could be cooking, it could be, you know, cookies or ice cream, or I made some apple pie filling and salsa and spaghetti sauce and whatever Nicaraguan stuff I have made. I grew up in a house making stuff at home and like doing crafts and art and so I never really thought much of it. It's just like something we did and it was normal. But once I married Tomas from Nicaragua, 
and got to know the culture and have spent a lot of time down there, I see that, and he's mentioned this to me as well, but people tend to do whatever they can do at home. They take their skills and they sell. Hay gente que vende supper every night outside their front door. They make a bunch of food and they, you know, sell it or go door to door selling it. Or people who learn how to sew and have the opportunity to buy a sewing machine or have a sewing machine, they might sell, you know, uniforms for kids. Or like one of Tomas's good friends, she has learned to make some really cool stuff. I will, um, try to find some pictures or link below so you guys can check that out but basically whatever skills or abilities you have you try to make money off of it so learning this and seeing it and Tomas has mentioned it as I said it makes me think when I make stuff at home now or when I do a picture or when I make something in my house that I know that other people can't necessarily do like for example I, I have this ice cream maker I could make ice cream and sell it, right? <laughs> Here in the US, it's a lot more difficult to actually sell food items because there's more health guidelines and rules and laws around that, but I mean, a lot of people make a living off of selling foods or things that they make as well. Cuando estaba pequeña, we would make things for this thing we call the bazaar and it happens once a year. We made like marshmallow shooter guns and <laughs> we made purses and different things with the sewing machine and so we'd go and sell and make some extra money f that way but I never thought of it as something I could do when I got older even though I mean I saw other other people at the bazaar you know adults selling stuff which they I'm sure got a good chunk of money for that maybe for vacation or maybe just extra money that they needed for expenses or whatnot but holy cow this is really hot it's kind of coating the spoon not quite yet I guess I never really thought of trying to make a living off of it. Así es la vida en Nicaragua. Okay, I guess this is it because it is like a little bit thick, thicker than it was. <laughs> and it's lightly coating the spatula. I guess that's it. We're gonna say that's it. Well, great. I just filmed putting this through the strainer and apparently I didn't actually film it, so. <laughs> Just trying to get the last of this stuff to get through there. Not bad, I only have a little bit of cooked egg. <laughs> Turns out I'm not gonna use the measuring spoons. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of vanilla. This is what I do. This looks delicioso. I <laughs> should have a short sleeve on. This is gonna be some good ice cream. One thing to note, I use 60% cacao chocolate chips. So these are pretty bitter. So the ice cream is gonna have that little bit of more cacao flavor than sugary milk chocolate. This it's going in the fridge hasta que esta cooled off. It cannot <laughs> be warm at all when I put it into the ice cream maker. So I will get back to you. It is 1.30, so como a las seis y media. Okay, it is now six hours later and ready to Let's turn this ice cream into ice cream. Yeah. So yummy. So yummy. Yes. <laughs> Is it so yummy? Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. gonna be covered in chocolate.
tastes like melted ice cream. That stuff on the bottom is all like hard. Like there's a thick layer of frozen. And this is going in here. Tomorrow we will be tasting the final product. According to this, it's so delicious. We'll see you tomorrow. That stuff needs to stay in the freezer for, I think, 12 hours, so. Bye. Oh. Ready, ready? See how delicious it's gonna be? Oh, man. That's Yay, like a freezer keyboard. burn. Got some hot water, so it's easier to scoop. Good, good. Algunas palabras para su gente que lo quiere mucho. Good. Hay que poner. Ah, uh, está todo. Mm. Hay que poner nuestra propia esquimera. ¿Cómo es? It's a lot harder than I would have expected. I knew the flavor was going to be good, but it's not as airy as I wanted it to be. But oh well, it still tastes good, and we're going to eat it. Gracias por ver. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you've ever made homemade ice cream. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Next. What's this? No, not with that. This. Wait, yeah, you can wix that. Here. Baby, it's now ball. Stop. Let's stop. Stop. And this is. I bought it. I look. I look at. You look at? I look. <laughs> yeah. But Mama. this next. Oh. I get. Mm -hmm. Oops. Hi. Baby, hot. Mm -hmm. Oh. So okay. I will TD. Here we go. Oh, booty, booty. We let them play. Come on, play. We're helping TD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Like <laughs> Una persona muy querida en, en Chinandega dicen y, y que ahí hay gente llorando por usted. ¿Están cierto eso? <laughs> Dale baja, like. <laughs>